Hi guys, so meron po akong gustong pakisla sa inyo that could probably be like one of the best advice and tumpak talaga yung point. Please watch this. Hindi pagkit meron kayong perang pahulog ng sasakyan, pang zero down payment, is kukuha na kayo kagad. Dapat meron din kayong parking area. Diba? Like seryoso, kukuha ka ng sasakyan, SUV pa, napakalaki, tapos ipapark nyo sa labas ng bahay ninyo. Literal na daanan, paparkan mo ng sasakyan. Like, ano kayong ingay nyo ganyan? Bago ako kumuha ng sasakyan, siguraduhin mo na meron kang pagpaparkan nito. Siguraduhin nyo na malaki yung bakuran mo, or siguraduhin mo na meron kang space para pagparking ka ng sasakyan mo. Hindi ko kukuha ng sasakyan, tapos ipapark mo sa labas ng bahay. So, ang sistema, kapag may mga dumadaan ng mga tao, mga tricycle, mga sasakyan, kotse, e jeep, nagiging cost pa ng traffic kasi sa labas ng bahay ninyo pinapark. Tapos, kapag sinabihan kayo, magagalit-galit kayo. Diba? Ang eksena ninyo, eh, tapat naman ang bahay namin yan, eh, karapatan namin yan, kemi kemi. Like, kailan pa rin sa inyo yung daanan? Walang sense. Nakabili nga kayo ng sasakyan, common sense, hindi nyo afford. <laughs> diba? Libre lang ho ang common sense. So, kung meron kayong sasakyan, dapat meron din kayong pagpaparkingan nito. Huwag nyo ipark sa labas ng bahay ninyo, sa tapat ng gate ninyo. Tapos kapag sinabihan kayo na ganyan, medyo nakaka-istorbo, baka naman po pwedeng igilid, baka naman po pwedeng iayos, eh magagalit-galit pa kayo. Like, diba? Bibili ka lang sasakyan, tapos wala kang pagpaparkan. Hindi mo kinaganda. Hindi mo kinataas ng estado sa lipunan niyang meron kang sasakyan, pulugan, tapos wala kang pagpaparkan. Like, hello? Minsan talaga hindi ko na rin talaga maintindihan yung mga tao. May pambili na mga mamahaling bagay. Sasakyan condominium, mamahaling cellphone, mamahaling sapatos, mamahaling damit, pero common sense na libre lang is hindi pa ma-afford. Like, what the hell? Parang kumuha ng sasakyang latang, ilalagay mo lang dyan sa labas ng bahay ninyo. Siguraduhin nyo na meron kayong parking area or malaki yung bakura ninyo kung kukuha kayo ng sasakyan. Ha? Ang eksena ninyo, nagkakos pa kayo ng traffic sa mga barangay, sa mga daan ng maliliit, sa mga subdivision. Alam mo yun? Yung tipong dadaan ng mga jeep kasi papasok yung mga tao papunta dun sa bahay nila, papunta dun sa school. Kanyan, keme, nagkakos pa kayo ng delay, nagkakos pa kayo ng traffic, nagkakos pa kayo ng kabuisitan sa mga tao sa paligid ninyo. Tiglan ninyo basta-basta pagbili ng sasakyan. Hindi pa rin meron kayong pang down payment, iakalay nyo afford nyo na. Tandaan ninyo, dapat meron din kayong space para ipark yung sasakyan ninyo. So dapat, hindi lang pera, kailangan nyo para sa sasakyan, kailangan nyo din ng area. Okay. <laughs> Sprinkles. So yun po. Actually, ang um, for me is siguro the sellers should at least be aware that not every sale is a sale. We need to make sure that we will go in to find lifetime happiness and ano yun? parang fulfillment in terms of the client side so number one we need to ask what area do they need second what type of unit do they want like for example condoba single house or whatever and then at least we can follow up with the question if they need something that needs like a parking area or not number four is we need to ask or we need to at least ask how many bedrooms do they want and then the the price that's where you can consider the price and then last but not the least is the of course the legal documents that we need to inform our clients so yun po actually yung key points to on and then for the investor side you need to be also not so selfish when it comes to decision making kasi again we cannot please everybody in terms of you know park at your own risk no it's a big no no let's respect one another let's not cause and commotion and then stop being a pleaser pleasing people so be responsible enough to every decision that you make it's okay for you to dream but let's consider what will happen to others because kung papairala ipapairali natin yung palagi yung in term na mabait humble kind mapagbigay or anything that is where abusive people will go into demand all the time to be honest and I hate that fact I don't like the way that yung perspective ng tao is that ay ayaw naman niya so hindi naman yan siya mapait or anything no you need to consider that 
self-respect is the number one. And also, wala naman tayong karapatan doon, right? Kung aayawan ka, huwag kang magalit. Correct? And then, another thing is, lahat, I think, is mag-start yung abusive people when you just keep saying yes. That was one time that you were going to say no, they will go in back to backlash you. So it's still the same thing. Be self responsible, it's just a very free thing, common sense. So, you know, and one thing that I realized this days is that. But people will all will only allow you to do so because they have something that they want from you. I actually remember there's one person who said, "It's okay for me to, um, for you to do that, knowing that they have business, right? So, in a business perspective, union." But for other people, you are causing anxiety, stress to other people. So, stop doing that because hey, I've been there. And to me, it's okay for me to, it's okay for us to dream what things we want. But we need to reconsider the things that may happen so my key point is tama yung point talaga niya salute